Let's start by taking a look at the big picture, the basic configuration of most knitting machines. The yarn supply is from creels located either above the machine or to the side of the machine. To make it easier for technicians to service the creels, it's more useful to find creels located behind the machine. In the side creel, less lint falls into knitting elements and larger packages of yarn can be used. Sock machines, as compared to apparel knitting machines, have very few feeds. However, each feed position can have several yarn choices. This picture shows a machine with five feeds with multiple yarns. From one to four feeds can be used at any part of the sock knitting cycle. Whether the creel is at the side or top, the principles for circular knitting are the same. Fed from behind the knitting machine, yarns move from the yarn creel through guides or tubes to stop motion and tension controls above the knitting elements. Fed from above the knitting elements, yarns move from the yarn supply through guides to storage feeders with stop motion controls above the knitting elements. The yarns are then merged through the appropriate yarn feeding devices to the knitting elements. Quality products can be produced only when stop motion and yarn feeding functions are properly set. The intricate action of knitting, where needles form loops, occurs at the top of the cylinder of the machine. A close-up of a very basic sock machine with the dial removed for easy viewing shows you how, with circular weft knitting, needles knit one after the other in a sequence for each yarn. Notice how loops are formed horizontally by needles knitting around the cylinder, forming a tube of fabric. After the yarns are knit on the needles the knitted sock is released from the needles in a process called pressing off, and the sock is ejected from the machine via forced air.